Did you know that your body was made up of 97% monosaturated and saturated fats? But it's dependent upon the oils that you choose. Now, unfortunately, we visit restaurants way too often and sometimes eat packaged foods. So the restaurants are going to use the cheapest oils like canola and corn, which are extremely inflammatory. Now we wanna select good oils because they're absolutely essential to rebuild our body and also to produce healthy hormones. Again, when we use what we call the PUFA oils or the polyunsaturated oils, they play havoc with your thyroid and create a sluggish metabolism. And unfortunately, when we have inflammation from these oils, it also secretes a hormone called cortisol. Now, anytime our body's in stress, whether it's through food or emotional stress, we're going to release this cortisol, which is what I call the belly fat storage hormone. Fortunately, it also plays havoc with another hormone called leptin. And leptin is our receptor site that tells us that we have got enough stored fuel for famine. So imagine if you didn't get that memo, what would it cause? It would cause us excessive weight gain. So some of the oils that I would recommend that you do not use are going to be canola oil, corn oil, peanut oil, cottonseed oil, soy oil, sunflower, and even safflower oil. And like I said, most packaged foods are made with those oils because they're absolutely the cheapest. Now, always opt for a really good quality olive oil or an avocado oil, coconut, or even sesame oil. And if you're cooking, what I like to cook with oftentimes, uh, because it has a really good high heat, or it's going to be ghee, and also tallows. And then of course, let's not forget the beautiful pasteurized butter. So choose your oils correct, and you will decrease your inflammation today.